But what was the reaction on the Bleacher Report show when Michael Penix Jr. comes off the board at, at pick eight? Especially with I a was, couple NFL players there, right? Yeah, I mean, so CJ liked him, and he was, like, floored, too. He's like, yeah, hey, I like him, but no one thought it. And, you know, people were like, okay, maybe the Raiders. But even that seemed like smoke. Um, you know, like the Bodix, the Broncos, Penix, the Raiders. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe, like, day two, people were thinking. Uh, so, floored, could not believe Like, it just – everyone else's reaction i i as a packers fan i can't like hate on the thought process it, it's if he works out four years from now no one no falcons fan is going to be upset about it at all but it, it just the timing feels weirder than anything you know any of the decisions the Packers ever made with love and rogers in terms of just like man why get why give her call like it just, I don't see the path here. And then the GM coming, Fondo coming out afterwards and having one of the craziest quotes I've ever seen. Yeah, that Objectively didn't saying <laughs> four or five years is okay. Yeah. It's like, you, you know what you just said? That, <laughs> you know, we're, like, we're happy if he never plays it down for us. That didn't help at all. Like it, there's, you yeah. know, this is, this is a defendable position that you can actually construct a solid argument around coming out and being like, oh, it's a great problem if he doesn't play for four or five years. That's not helping. Like you are taking a sensible argument and making it idiotic when you're saying things like that. Uh, but I'm like, I'm going to defend him for a second. Let me defend because I, I seem to be carrying the Falcons' water here quite a bit <laughs> these, in these sense. last two weeks. If you're the GM, like the, the the biggest downside to this that we've highlighted is maybe Kirk Cousins being a little fragile in this whole thing. I think if the GM's going to start, you know, taking the hit you know, taking the heat basically and take it off of Kirk Cousins with quotes like that. Like, sure, we want Kirk. Of course we want Kirk to be good for four years. So now they're like, hey, we made this decision. I don't know that he's going to say what he really wants to say. There's a reason why they they loved him so much to take him. So he's going to he's gonna bite the bullets basically. I don't think you need to you – can, you can do that without saying four or five years though. You can just say it's a good problem if Kirk Cousins is playing great yeah, and he's sitting on the sideline. You don't have to put a I'm just, timeline. I'm just on reading it. into it differently than like, oh man, GM's an idiot. You know, I'm not. He's an idiot for I, saying. That's four what or five other people are, other people are saying. Yeah, I will say though, if you're you know a self motivated GM, you're thinking your long term job security. He's going to be fine the next few years because they're probably going to win nine, ten games right. with Kirk Cousins now a quarterback and like a solid <clears throat> upcoming roster. Now you bought yourself maybe four or five more years if Michael Penix turns out good, right? But now if he doesn't, now maybe you didn't buy yourself any more years. But I, I do think if you're worried about your job, you probably want to be forward thinking about the quarterback position as much as possible and keep guys in tow. And the only thing that's really different from the Rodgers, Jordan Love type of situation is the fact that Cousins is brand new in the building, right? Like yes. theoretically, the timeline is about the same. Otherwise, it's just that you just signed this guy. And honestly, I think that's why it's kind of, understandable right because it's it's not really four years it's more like two and in those two years Cousins is probably going to be good enough to immediately make this team the favorite for the division this year maybe next year as well so to me they're kind of independent variables right Cousins comes in they needed him otherwise they were screwed we just saw what happened when they didn't have any kind of quarterback situation a rookie is probably going to be the same kind of thing so they needed Cousins. They went and signed him to the deal. They got him in the building. Done. Then it's like, all right, he's 35 coming off an Achilles injury. And even then, he's probably not a long-term solution. So what does the future look like? Oh, it's Michael Penix. Like, th those are – I think it's basically the Jordan Love-Aaron Rodgers thing, except instead of Rodgers having been there for a decade already, it's like we signed this guy a week ago. Yeah, and I think there's like two other big things, though, that make it different. One is that it's pick eight versus pick what, right. 26 that Love was, where it's like so much bigger of an investment. And for a team that, you know, if you say, say they drafted Dallas Turner or say they drafted Byron Murphy, and they just like say that guy is a franchise pass rusher, like that could boost you the same way, you know, same sort of turnaround we saw with the Texans last year. We're like, oh, maybe you're like South Division champs and you're right in the thick of it in the NFC for the next two or three years with Kirk Cousins. Like that's very possible. But then also that Michael Penix is 24. You know, Michael Penix is not a guy to develop on the bench. He is a guy that everyone was saying could start day one. And also a guy that could not only was like this developed project for developed prospect already, like six years of college football, but also a guy that was six years of college football and not a lot of people were saying it's like a top five pick, right? You know, it's like there's a difference between, oh, let's take a chance on this 21-year-old who played 
who has all the tools who may develop into something special versus this guy who's 24 that people are for the most part consensus kind of was on him or just not in consensus i didn't see a lot of people going to bat for just being like yeah michael Penix is a franchise court so i think that's a distinct difference too that you're not taking a swing of the fence or a swing of the bat for the fences to do a baseball analogy here that i don't even watch baseball anymore um but you're kind of just like oh that was a kind of a hitting a double with michael Penix, uh you know sort of thing he's not really the big swing of the bat at pick eight. I think, yeah, in order for, in order for this to make sense, I think you, the supposition has to be that they think that there is inherent value in the development process that can take place for any young quarterback over two years on the bench, right? Yeah. Like the age thing at that point is kind of irrelevant. It's not like age isn't directly corresponding to where your ceiling is. It's simply we think in order to get him to a ceiling, whatever that is in the NFL – the best way of doing that is two years sitting on his ass on the sideline. We think he's already got the capacity to be that guy, mm -hmm. but the first couple of years from a young quarterback is probably going to be rough. Let's smooth that curve out by putting him on the bench for two years. I, that, to me, I don't care about the age thing that much because I kind of buy into that as a concept. Whether or not it's right, it's up in the air right now given the data points that we have, but I at least buy that as an argument and at which point... Because that's I, I do think that you're right. Like If they had done this for... Like if Drake May had been the guy to slide a little bit and they'd done this for Drake May, I think the noise would have been half as loud, right? Because people would have yeah, gone, ah, agree. he's young, he's got the upside, this makes some sense. It's because it's Michael Penix Jr. that everyone's like, whoa, that doesn't make, that's crazy. Yeah, I think that, that and I do think that's the bigger thing. Or like, that's like why it's such a, so, so question. Because if, it, like I said, if it would have been the younger upside play, yeah. But if it's not, it doesn't, it's not what this feels like, right?